I can show, demonstrate that the general relativity of Einstein descends from the essential truth of this equation. In the Einstein formula, the energy exists in power in the same way in which it exists in power in the essential unit of 10 raised to zero, first member of my absolute equation. In the relativity of Einstein, the mass exists in the unit of its 10 cycle as 10 raised to minus 1 exists in my absolute equation. The C2 exists as the unitary acceleration of 10 raised to minus 1, which consists in 10 raised to plus 1. Every unit of the physics was obliged to the unity cycle made by 10 tens two centuries ago by the Academy of France. I really start from this general beginning for every unit of the physics. On the contrary, Einstein, in his general relativity, concerning only the units of the masses and of the energies, is less general than I am when I refer to all the cycle of the mass, of the time, of the energy, of the space, of the mass, of, the, of every dimension, unitary, because all were referred to the cycle 10, unitary in 10 tens. Now, be attentive, my general relativity is that exact of Jesus Christ when uh, he described the fundament, God, saying that uh, it is one among three. The Holy Spirit is uh, ten raised to zero, so it is uh, the truth of the unit. The Father is uh, the number 10, a number that uh, really is father of uh, every number by its 10 cycle. The Son, descending from the Father 10, is uh, 10 raised to minus 1. From uh, this uh, number 10, as absolute, I pull out its unitary shape, consisting in nine units. From ten I pull out the infinite relative existence. This is the real calculus of our mind to do infinite the decimal time and uh, the eternal mass one. An existence divided in time of calculi. It is the increasing time future 
the future time of the infinite universe. To pull out the past time from this future time, pulled out from uh, 10 divided by 9, we have to multiply by 9 the result in act in the present moment. Since we have 9.99999 in the same definition, infinite definition, we can go coherently before of the same presence of the human life to give real form to poor calculi that will give form to our prehistory. Note, we pull out everything from uh, by the 10 cycle. One on nine is the ratio that we use to conserve mass. By two on eight, we conceive the time. By three on seven, we conceive the space. By four on six, we conceive the flow of the reality made of three spaces at one time. By five on five, we conceive the degree Kelvin in its unit. By 6 on 4, we conceive the 6 negative and positive directions of the space having 3 in the unit between positive and negative, and we have the molecular. By 7 on 3, we pull out the unit of the light intensity. So, I have shown in what a way, by 10, out of 10, we simultaneously have the vision of mass, time and other, because we discern this 10 cycle in all its relative possible ratios. Well, very well, by 10 data raised to plus 10, we pull out our unitary dimension of the matter, which is starting from the atomic inverse structure of meters 10 raised to minus 10. This is the real system that allows to the atomic complex of our mind to define the unit, the, our I. Till the way of reasoning of the mind uses the ten cycle to contain ideas, and it happens in the same way in which we contain everything by the ten fingers of our two hands. In conclusion, mine are studies that aren't in the same way of the others. I start from the general toward the particular, but this uh, new way is uh, in the way of the science and not, the, not of the fantasy and uh, allows to discover that the actual science is uh, in the fantasy of uh, a reality believed 
true, what is not true, but only a fantasy of the spirit.